Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So today, it, we have 402, we move K digits. Uh, before I start, uh, it it Mubarak. I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like every year I, I, I mess that up. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, congrats on the completion of the fasts. Um, yeah, hope everyone's, you know, eating well and all these things. But uh, yeah, today I'm actually quite tired. I, I don't, well, I mean, I went to the gym, but I don't know why. It just, well, I do know why, because of allergies and allergies, and I've been not sleeping that well. Uh, just kind of, it is what it is. So I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do the extra premium part. Or, eh, we'll see how I feel. But, you know, so if I'm a little bit kind of worse for wear today uh, for, for this video, my apologies ahead of time. All right, let's take a look. 402, we move K digits. Given string num representing a non negative no, uh, integer num and an integer K, we turn the smallest possible removing K digits from nums. Okay, so you have to remove K digits and you want to uh, remove K digits. Oh, you want to remove K digits and then you're trying to remove all these things, right? All right. Uh, the 10 to the 5 number of digits and you can remove Ks and you should not have leading zeros. Oh no, you could have leading zeros, maybe. It's just that the input is not, um, does not have leading zero. Oh, the out no, no, I'm wrong. Output also does not, oh, oh, the output should not have it, but you could remove it and keep the, okay, fine. Okay, so I think this is in some way, some sort of greedy or some sort of sorting. The idea though, um, it's going to be, the, the, the way that I think about it in this problem is going to be some idea, some variation. I, I don't have, to, I'm saying it in way hand wavy, non-concrete terms. My apologies. It's not because I'm trying to be, you know, funky or whatever. It's that I don't know quite yet, but I have this idea in my head, right? So, uh, and I'm going to try to explain it. But the idea here is some idea of exchange algorithm, right? So we want to remove one digit at a time. Um, because I don't think it makes sense. Like there's no, because the digits are kind of independent, right? There's no benefit of removing two digits at a time that you cannot get from removing one digit twice, I think, in terms of the proof. And then the idea here is what would we, we try to remove, right? And this is where we play around a little bit. And the idea that I have is what I, it's kind of like the exchange argument, but not really, I suppose. Uh, but it's just this idea of, um, uh, replacement maybe right and just try to figure out what is the best right so here we can let's just say and I'm just doing it manually so that I can play around with some ideas to kind of get the sense right I I have a um, a notepad here and a pencil and I think normally if I wasn't on stream and all these things that's what I would use I'll just write it out and be like playing around with it manually but uh, okay so let's say we would move a one then uh, so we don't want to remove a one because it's clear that removing a four would be better. So if we ha so first thing that I notice is that if we have increasing digit, you always want to get rid of the second the the digit that is bigger. Okay, but then now oh, let's see. Right? Let let's say the three. Do we want to remove the three or the four? Now we still want to remove the four, right? Because that gives us a smaller number. You want to remove two? No, two, no, one, no, nine. Still no. Because the four would be the best. But I don't, hmm. Don't really have an idea though. I mean, I, I think we have some sorts of property, but okay, let's say we remove the four after one thing, and then now we have to remove another digit, right? So we also want to remove the three. Because that gives us one, two. What is the property here that I'm trying to figure out? And then after that, we remove, I guess, the two. I guess, the, <clears throat> I guess you always just remove a digit in a way such that, let's say we removed the i-th digit, we want to remove Oh, sorry. If, let's say we're looking at the i-th digit, and if the i-th plus one digit is smaller, then you want to remove the i digit because, by definition, you have this exchange thing, right? Because you let's say because by defin by by you know uh, um, in the smallest value thing, it it 
matters the most what comes in the beginning, right? And in the beginning, if you have two digits next to each other, and you can only keep one of them, then you obviously want to keep the smaller one, right? But, so the first property I mean, that sounds right to me, right? And so then now, once we move this, we move this, da, 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 then now we start removing the biggest digit, which is the last digit, because now in a way it is going to be monotonically increasing because you already deleted stuff that is um, decreasing by, def by definition. Right, maybe? No, is that true? Yeah, yeah. Um, I say you have, I don't know, bang on the keyboard. Right, so then now here, you always remove the three before the one. Um, and then now the four before the one. And then now the five, bef this before the one to make it next smaller. Yeah. Yeah. And then now the two. And then now it's going to be increasing order. So I guess that's it, right? I think that is a good hypothesis just because, and I, I kind of visualized it with an exchange argument because basically, let's say we're looking at this digit. Well, I mean, okay, let's look at this digit first just for completion. Then now he get, we, I have one or three. So of course you want to keep the one, right? Duh. And then now the next one, you have the three or the one, which one do we want to keep? Well, we want to keep the one. So that means that we have to remove the three. Right, because the other one, you could keep the one, but you're not forced to remove the three yet. So, okay. So, I think that's the idea. So, let, let's play around with that and let's go, right? Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, and, and it's equal to length of num, right? And then maybe eh, maybe just a delete as you go to force times n. No. Hmm. I mean, yes, but it's a little bit tricky. Because if you delete digits, then you have to be careful to get the next digit in a better way. Um, hmm. And they're kind of, there are cute ways to do this, but the way that I would have it is just actually have a next digit thing, right? So I plus one for I in range of N. So what does this do? This is just saying that what is the next digit? The next digit for I is going to be I plus one, right? Makes sense. And then the thing is that when we delete stuff, we just update the next. Right, so that's basically what we're we wanting to do, uh, or that's what I want to do in my head. Uh, okay, so then if num sub i is greater than num sub i plus one, and we have to be careful so that um, yeah, we do plus one. And it's not—is it even this? Hmm. Also, I just realized that we're always going to do it this way. I actually did it in a dumb way. I don't need, I mean, this is actually, hand, this is a kind of a thing that comes in handy for other places, but I don't need to do it this way. I only need to com compare two digits so we can always just use a stack, right? So then now for C and num, right? So then um, stack that up and C, maybe if, Length of stack is greater than you go to two. Um, and stack the top of the stack, is, uh, uh, the the second top of the stack is greater than stack. Eh, maybe I, I shouldn't put it on yet. Okay, fine. Let's just do it this way, and then we could put it later. And let's say the top of the stack is greater than C, uh, or the other way around. Sorry, if the current character is strictly greater than that then we can remove one of them, which is the current one. Wait, what? No, that's not right. No, 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 If the top of the stack is greater than the current character, then we pop and then we do stack data pen C. Am I right? Because I'm trying to think of, the, so the case that I have in my head that I'm doubting is something like uh, this, right? So then now here, um, when we go to 2, 1, this will, when we pop the 1, we'll pop this, right? But then next, that's for one iteration, right? So the next stack, we have to actually pop this, and then this, and then this. So this is not quite right either, huh? 
because um, I kind of skipped over this a little bit because I, I, I don't know. I was just f- thinking about the ideas so far. But N is 10 to the 5th, so we still have to be a bit careful with the running time. I guess this can be a while loop, actually, right? Um, and k is greater than zero, then maybe this should be good. Because then now you, so yeah. And the fun thing is that, I think this is right now. Uh, we have to do more with k is greater than zero, right? And then now, do, 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 start. but this is not quite it yet because of the leading zeros, but I just want to kind of run it real quick. Um, hmm. Okay, so this looks good. I mean, there are some, you know, awkward z zeros and leading zeros, but that looks good. Um, the one thing that I want to add to this is that, I mean, w w hopefully you watched the video for the last 10 minutes or so or whatever it is, uh, and you kind of saw how I come up with this formula, right? Because now we're just popping... Um, you know, if the last thing is bigger than this thing, we pop it, right? But I also want to say, just as an observation, this stack is a monotonically increasing stack, which is also known as a mono stack, right? No, and I, I didn't do this in pur on purpose. I, but the reason why I want to point it out is because I think a lot of people try to do this thing where they're like, oh, this is just a mono stack problem. This is just, and the reason why they think that way is because they memorized or recognized the pattern for a lot of these mono stack problems, but you can see that it doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just something that happens to come about because of the property of how we remove things, but it doesn't act like it, it's not. It, it's practic. It's not useful to know that, right? Is my point. So yeah, I don't know. So that's why I want to say. Um, okay. So then now, if length of stack is equal to zero. Uh, we just, I just want to append zero. And then here, now we can just convert it to an int. I, I want to do convert it to an int and then back to a stack, but I guess it, it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, hmm. Is there like a left remove thing? Uh, Python or, or L strip, right? Like that L strip of zero, does that work? Oh, but then this may remove this zero, so I have to kind of double check again. Okay, so it does work, but then it removes this zero that we so carefully removed. Um, hmm, how did I do this? I actually don't know if L strip has other pythons, but L strip stands for uh, left strip. No, huh? How do I still keep this? Eh, this is so annoying. I guess in this case, just return zero. Uh, all right, let's give it a submit. Oh. Oh, uh, I didn't miss a case. Why? Oh, because I left strip afterwards, but the stack is... Oh, all right, well... Uh, hmm. Uh, so, so many edge cases on this one. How do I want to handle this? Eh. Uh. <sighs> this is just annoying. Um, yeah, fine, whatever. I I'm lazy, so... Uh, whatever. Uh, I, I don't want to be too clever. Uh, we'll see if I m mess it up again. Oh, man. Oh, this is actually a big one. Why do I have... Oh, I just forgot K... Uh... I am dumb. Wow, how did that even pass anything? <laughs> All right, I, I watched it a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's put this in here. I, I think for some reason I forgot to put it in here. I, I didn't put the other one in there either. Okay, fine. All right, there we go. So, okay, a little, a couple of edge cases that I, I kind of just watched it because I wanted to go over, um, you know, mono stack and stuff like that. But hopefully this makes sense. It is greedy in that sense, right? Because, and I, it's not quite the exchange argument, but, it, um, but it, it has that idea of like, okay, you have the choice between these two things 
And if you choose the wrong one, then you're never going to get a better answer. So yeah, uh, what's the complexity here? This is going to be linear time for this for loop and linear space for the stack and also the return result thing. Eh. Right, and yeah, <clears throat> it's a for loop and a while loop, but but the stack only has n elements at most, right? So this pop can only happen n times, so this iteration only happen n times. So yeah, linear time, linear space, and that's what I have for this one. That's what I have for today. Happy holidays and everything. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.